What's up, family? Welcome back to another episode of Yes Chef. I'm your host, Big Chef Dro, and I know things may look a little different to you. Well, I'm changing up the content and the way that I film. I want to be more interactive, more engaging, and to be honest with you, a little bit more entertaining. But for this video, we're going to do the old format when it comes to cooking, which is kind of testing it out on the intro. But the very next video we do, it's going to be full on. So today's video, Cajun Crawfish Etouffee. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've done the jambalaya, I've done the gumbo, and that jambalaya, that video is really, really, really moving up. So I hope I can impress you again with some of my Cajun cuisine. So let's get into this video. Let's get into this Cajun and shrimp etouffee. Come on, family. Let's cook. All right, family, let's go ahead and get off into this beautiful etouffee. Uh, so just real quick, the word etouffee simply means uh, to smother. And that's pretty much, you know, cooking with a top on a pot or, you know, something of that nature. So I'm going to do the Cajun version of this uh, etouffee. Uh, the only difference is I'm going to use a butter roux instead of an oil roux. Um, the butter roux was kind of brought about with the um, with the Creole version. Uh, but that's the only thing I'm, I think I'm just going to do different. All right. So. Uh, let's go ahead and start. I know it looks like a lot, but let's go ahead and go through everything. First and foremost, the king, uh, uh, the star of the show is the crawfish. Now, I bought these frozen uh, and this is uh, basically uh, 36 ounces of crawfish. I brought two. Uh, I'm sorry. I brought three of these packages. Now, when you're buying the crawfish, make sure it's from Louisiana. Even if it has the map of Louisiana on it, turn it over. Look at where it comes from, uh, and this is in uh, Louisiana. Make sure it's not coming from some foreign uh, country uh, so that you can ensure you have real, authentic Louisiana uh, crawfish, okay? And then next, I'm going to put some shrimp in there as well. So I'll make this a crawfish slash shrimp etouffee. These are the... Um, the large, I think they're 25, 30 or, or, or 21, 30 or something of that nature. I don't have a lot of them just to put it in there uh, just to add it. OK, uh, I also have some whole crawfish that I'm going to put in at the end so they can get warm. And it, it, this is just for presentation purposes. You don't have to do that. Uh, going moving forward, we have our uh, celery. Now I have this is three. I'm sorry. This is four stalks of celery. And then I have um, one whole uh, yellow onion here uh, diced up as well. And then I have my uh, bell peppers, which I have uh, orange, yellow and green. And then I have some uh, green onions, you know, some of the uh, uh, a little bit of the bottom, uh, but mostly the top of those. All right. So moving on to the seasoning well let me go ahead and get this out of the way as well so i have six cups of uh seafood stock and uh, you can use shrimp stock seafood stock you can even use chicken stock i'm just choosing to use seafood stock because i have it and so here is just a whole bunch of garlic i don't know how much it is i just put a whole bunch of garlic in there and you know you can adjust your garlic level however you want to do it uh, but that's what I'm going to do. So uh, right here, I have one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now, uh, I've seen a few videos where some people use the crab boil, the concentrated. Man, that stuff is that stuff is dangerous. So I would rather use this than the uh, crab boil concentrate. Uh, now, right here, I have my Cajun seasoning. Now, I have three tablespoons of the Tony Satchery no salt uh, uh, Cajun seasoning. Uh, and that will be this right here. OK, so this is no salt. And if you can't find it, you know, 
man, I, I, I hate it for you because, man, this is a game changer right here. So this has no salt, which allows me to use a little bit more than I would if I did have the one with salt. The one with salt is just salty. So if you're doing this and you have some type of Cajun seasoning that has the salt in it, instead of three tablespoons, you might want to use like a half of a tablespoon and then adjust it accordingly because that thing is salty. And I'm so glad I have uh, I can find I can I can get this where I stay. All right. So moving right along. Um, here we have the Chef Paul Padom Seafood Magic, and this is only a tablespoon of that. Then I have about two tablespoons of granulated garlic. I have two tablespoons of granulated onion powder. And then I have about another tablespoon of just uh, plain old black pepper. And then I have a nice a tablespoon of some smoked paprika just to give it some flavor. All right. So we have gotten over all of the ingredients. So let's go ahead and get started. As you see here, I have two whole sticks of unsalted butter and I'm going to add equal parts, which that comes out to be a full cup of butter. And so I have a full cup of just regular old all purpose flour as well. Uh, so when you're making a roux, that's how you pretty much want to do it. You want to do uh, equal parts of butter and flour or either oil. Uh, I do use the oil for my gumbo, but for the etouffee, as I said, I'm going to do the butter route. All right, family. So the butter has melted and this is on low. So you want to keep this stuff um, when you're doing a roux like this, especially if you don't have the experience with it. You want to keep it on low. Number one. Number two. You want to really try to avoid uh, splashing this stuff on you uh, because once it splashes on you, um, you're pretty much done for. All right, family, so starting out, uh, you know, this is pretty much the color it's going to be. Um, now, when making etouffee, you don't want a blonde roux. Um, you really don't want a brown roux. What you want is like a darkish brown, reddish roux. And um, that and and that is what a good roux for an etouffee should look like. Now, you know, you want to stay here. Uh, it's on low. You want to keep your fire on low. You don't want this to burn too fast. This is butter. So, you know, unlike with an oil, I've seen people do the oil roux on high. Um, I do it on a, like a medium, but for a, um, a nice butter roux, you want to, you want to keep it, uh, on low or medium low. And if you want to look at that fire, you know, that's just a small, just a small blaze under there. Okay. So we'll be back uh, as we go through the stages of darkening this room. All right. As you see, family, I have switched to a uh, flat wooden spoon and I'm just making sure I can move this all around. Good. So this is about the color uh, that I want it to be a little reddish brown. So for right now, I'm going to start adding the the uh, the uh, Holy Trinity. Now, um, when this goes in, it's 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 going to pop. It's going to do so. I would recommend that you never put this in a food processor. Cut it up by hand with a knife, because if you put it in a, in a food processor, uh, a lot of that water is going to come out in that. And then you're going to be pouring all of that into this hot lava. OK, so be careful. Go in a little bit at a time. And that is going to start releasing some water as well. Move that bad boy around nice and nice and good. And you'll probably start seeing it thicken up a little bit. And then it'll, as the, uh, as the uh, moisture from the onions start to release, it'll thin out, 
just a little bit. I put the onions in first. Of course, they have a, more of a bite to them um, than, um, or, or more of a, a taste when you bite into it than the other ones. So I like to get my onions sauteed in there first, okay? Now, next, you wanna go with your, your peppers and your celery. Okay, I'm gonna get those in there as well. And you can put the celery first or you can put the peppers first, it doesn't matter. All right, so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the, uh, the garlic, the bunch of garlic in there. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this up a little bit. As I start dropping my, um, I'm gonna just drop all of my seasoning in uh, at once. That was the paprika, and there's no particular order to do it, but you know, when you get about three of them in there, two or three in there, go ahead and give it a nice little stir. So I turned it up to about a medium. Get that in there. It's my Cajun seasoning. Remember, no salt on the Cajun seasoning. And this is this is uh, salty. The um, the um, the uh, Paul Perdome Seafood Magic is uh, salty. Okay, so you want to be careful with this. So as you notice, you didn't see any salt when I introduced the ingredients uh, because I know from experience, you know, it's okay to add salt at the very end for dishes like this, okay? Just kind of like it, let everything cook at once, okay? And then at the end, you can add your salt. All right, so now my, my crawfish and my, and my uh, shrimp, they are room temperature, okay? So those are gonna be put in at the end, uh, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready. So here's four cups of the seafood stock. There's another two cups here. So this is uh, six cups. And to be honest with you, I may, I'm gonna put some more stock in here. I just warmed up some more water for the, um, for the stock, for the seafood stock. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that in there. I got a big pot, so might as well utilize it. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up. And I'll put it on like a medium and I'm gonna let this um, cook or smother for about 40 minutes. And then once that's done, we'll be back. We'll add the rest of the ingredients, all right? All right, family, so we're back. It has been about 35, 40 minutes, and the etouffee is coming along really nice, as you can see. So at this point, we'll go ahead and add our crawfish. And of course, it's cooked. Now, uh, please understand uh, that when you take it out of the, uh, out of the package, because it was frozen, uh, there's gonna be a lot of uh, moisture in it be you know from being frozen uh so what i did was i just basically put it inside of a um of a strainer and then i uh just squeezed out all the moisture because i didn't want it in there at all so uh here's the green onions that are going in there as well and i'm going to allow this to cook for about another 10 minutes and once that's done we'll be ready 
and then I'll add the shrimp once I turn it off, just so you know how I do it. I don't like the rubbery shrimp, so there's no need to overcook shrimp. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and throw these in here just so I can have them ready for the presentation. Um, doesn't add anything extra to it. It's just another crawfish flavor. So, you know, there's nothing big, no big deal about it. I just wanna put it in there to warm it up. So uh, in 10 minutes, I will be back and then we will go ahead and add our shrimp. All right, family, so we are almost done. So we'll go ahead and just turn this off. Just give this a nice little stir one more time. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just add these shrimp off in there while it's off. And by the time we're ready to eat, these shrimps will be done. They won't be rubbery or hard. They'll be just right. now. I need to go ahead and get a little taste test of this here because this is looking absolutely delicious. Y'all, y'all excuse me for one second. Y'all just, y'all bear with me, okay? Mmm. Mmm. Not that. Wow. Mm. Folks, I know I say this all the time, man, but I don't perfected that one. That was a good one. So I'm going to let this sit for about another 20 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and plate it up. Now, we won't have a taste test in the day because I have some family over, and uh, we're going to dig into this. So give me about... 10 or 20 minutes and we'll be back for the plate presentation and so there you have it family we just made cajun style etouffee so again flavor came out perfect nice and balanced not too hot just the way i like it so go ahead and just try this folks for yourself now like i said I got some family over and we're finna go ahead and just dig off into this real quick so you won't be getting a taste test today. But hey, I just wanna thank everybody for watching these videos. Go ahead and hit that like button, folks. We need to get these videos out. We're, 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 not, liking our, like, we're not liking the videos at all. So let's get these videos up and let them, let's get them in front of people. So go ahead and hit those like buttons for me. And so until the very next video, folks, until the very next time we see you, as always, family, peace. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget, hit the like button. And if you want to be a part of the Yes Chef family, consider hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget, click the notification bell, and that way you'll stay up to date on all of our latest videos. Also consider becoming a member of my Patreon for up close and behind the scene content. And be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms. Thank you.